What's up, fellas? Back again. Yes, what is today? Well, today is Thursday. Yes, and we did this last week. We brought back some old school videos. What am I talking about? I'm talking about season two, season three. I'm talking 10, 12 years ago. SMC stuff never before seen on YouTube. Yes, that's what we're doing. And uh, yeah, you're going to laugh. I've got a baby face. I'm fishing with some products that I might not fish with anymore. So don't rib me too hard. But it is interesting to see. This challenge here is going to be awesome because here's why. We're fishing on Lay Lake against Greg Pugh. This guy knows how to catch some big old fish. And I do too. So check this out. We're talking about donkey bass. Wintertime fishing coming at you. Drop some comments below, guys. And we will see you. Bam! All right, Greg, we're here at Lake Jordan in Prattville, Alabama. Dude, this is magnum spot water right here, dude. Man, you're right about that. This is probably the best spotted bass lake in the state of Alabama. But I've heard about this lake. I mean, there, there's three and four and five pound spots and are even bigger. Oh, right, there's, there's some monster spots in here and they're called the Coosa River Chain of Spot. And the Coosa River Chain of Spot is a lot different than just a regular Kentucky mean. spot. Mean, they're, they're some mean. I've told, the guy, I've told the guys up north that you take a two-pound Coosa River, put him to a five-pound smallmouth, he'll, dra he'll drag him anywhere he wants to go. So Challenge starts today, right now. Our best five fish, how about that? Best five fish. Let's go after him. All right. Greg Pugh's going down on the big pond today. <laughs> oh, no. The talk starts. It always starts as soon as I get in the boat, man. <laughs> This is Greg Pugh from Coleman, Alabama. Scott, I'm coming after you, baby. We're coming after you. The state of Alabama would not let me live it down <clears throat> if I let a Florida boy beat me. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw crankbaits, deep diving crankbaits, and suspending jerk baits. And then I've got a spot remover jig head that's a real, real good way to catch these spotted bass. It's probably the best way to catch fish on lakes like this. Crankbaiting's an art, and I'll be honest with you, I'm not the best crankbait fisherman in the world. You know, growing up in Florida, I don't get an opportunity to fish deep diving crankbaits too much. But I do have a lot of confidence in these baits. The most important thing with crankbaiting is having the right size line. A lot of times people will spool the reels up with the wrong size line, and then they wonder why they're not catching any fish. 10 pound line is about all I use when I crankbait. If you throw 15 pound test line, 17 pound test line with a crankbait, the diameter of the line is too thick and creates too much resistance in the water and affects the way that that bait runs. 12 is about as heavy as you want to go, but 10 pounds is the key, and that's what I'm throwing today. Lake Jordan is more of a overflow type water dam instead of where they actually generate power. And there's a canal that actually comes in from Jordan Lake into another lake back here. And when they're pulling this water hard out in the mouth of this thing, these fish will congregate out here and getting these little backsides of these eddies. What I'm doing is I'm gonna drop a spoon on them. We're gonna see if we can get one to get that. It's a crappie. Boys, I think we've had found the crappie. Some pretty crappie, that's for sure. It ain't much of a spot, but uh, if Scott don't catch one, it'll be a big spot. I got one. Am I hung up? No, I got a fish on. Dude, this is a big spot right here. Holy cow. Now that's what I'm talking about, dude. Big old Coosa spot. Look at that thing. Whoa, dude. So cold, they're hardly fighting. They're just bulldogging and keeping their heads down. The key to that fish was I'm making long casts, and that's real important when you're fishing out here in open water trying to get your bait down 10, 12, or 14 feet. And what I did is I was cranking along, I actually felt some rocks. 
and I slowed that bait down. When I started feeling the rocks, you'll feel the bait bouncing into things pretty hard. I slowed it down, and that's when that fish hit. And that's what you want to do. When you start getting in rocks or getting in wood and stuff with this crankbait, is to slow it down and let that fish get it. There's a the fish. Nice fish. Oh, man. Good one. Good one. Good one. You know, when you're fishing lakes like we're doing today, or we're fishing offshore structure, you gotta have a good depth finder. And I use these Garmin. This is a Garmin 320C, it's a color unit, and it really shows the detail. And the reason that I like the color units the best is that the shades of red, the darker the shades of red for the bottom contour, means the harder the bottom. And I can actually tell when there's a little bit of gravel or a little bit of sand down there, and when there's stumps and, and bushes and things like that and brush piles under the water, I can really tell that it's, it's wood, not rocks. About right now, I'm really thinking I should have kept those two crappie for the weigh-in because they wouldn't bass, but boy, we could have counted them. We could have had a crappie tournament. We could, at the last minute, we could have said, hey, look, we changed the rules. It's a crappie tournament. Sorry you didn't get the memo. <laughs> now that the current stopped, we've come up into Wioki Creek. And this is not current related stuff. What we're gonna do in here is we're gonna pick apart. There's a hundred little points in here. A lot of nice cypress trees in here, a lot of underwater little points. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go around these little submerged islands and, and use that spot remover jig head. And then also throw a, a little suspending jerk bait. Those two baits in here should work really well. There's a the fish. Nice fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, stay on baby. Holy cow, that's a good fish. These things are bulldogs. Now that's a toad spot, dude. Greg Pugh. I, could, I should call him right now and talk a little trash. That's a beautiful, beautiful fish. Now what we've done, the current stopped now. And we've come back in this little creek. And I'm taking this little, this little suspending jerk bait and working it out off some of these trees. Bam! Now that is awesome. When these fish are on, you sit there, you swim out like that across the top of that grass, and all you see is just a big bull come up and he'll grab that jig. That's when it's fun here. I changed that jig from a little jig this morning I've been throwing. I've, I've gone to a, a half ounce black and blue jig. We got some 20 pound test Berkeley big game on here, and we're still using a, a seven foot medium heavy rod. Uh, we're going to try this a little bit and see if we can get one to bite. Well, there's what we're looking for. Well, that's what we're looking for. All right, dude, I just caught a magnum spot. A magnum spot? You better get spot. serious. <laughs> I just caught a magnum spot. What's a magnum? Three or better. 12 inches? Three or better. Three or better. You better get ready. I hear you. I'll just come over and give you a fair warning. Well, I just caught about a five pound large mouth, so. Uh, I, you caught a five pound black? I've got a five pound black, so. You talking about warrants now? I didn't want to come over and say anything, <laughs> hey, but uh, well, at least there's some blacks in here because I might try to catch you one of them. There you go. It's on now. You see how that tree's laying across the bank there? I know that that's a big, that's a big enough round tree that I know a good portion of that probably goes out in here into the lake. And things like that that are kind of hidden, you know, are things that a lot of people overlook. And that's a good spot right there. That tree goes out probably a long ways. There's, there could be a good fish right there. There he is. Oh, yeah. Oh, he came off. Ugh. He's right where he's supposed to be. There. Oh, there's another one. That's a good one. That's a good one right there. Stay on, baby. Stay on. A nice fish. Oh, yes. Nice fat spot. <laughs> oh, 
there's that tree right there hanging off. We're sitting in 32 foot of water, but this big tree comes off the bank and it's somewhere, like I said, that not a lot of people probably look for. Nice fish, and I had one to cast before. There might be a giant school there. Well, I think Scott pulled up here a while ago to try to do some rattling. He says he's got a magnum spot. He's from Florida. He don't know what a magnum spot is. That is probably his magnum spot. <laughs> He don't know what magnums are. <laughs> Another black. I thought somebody said there's spots in this lake. Dude, what do I got? I got another drum or something. Stay on, dude. Oh, look at this. Oh, dude, don't, 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 don't. Oh, <laughs> oh man. That's a black. Dude, that's a big largemouth for this lake. Holy cow. Look at that fish. I caught two fish off that tree right there. Or had one on, caught one, then threw the jerk bait in there and caught a, a drum, threw this little spot remover in there, and bam. I mean, that is a good, good fish. I mean, I, that's a five pounder. We're still having a good time. We're out on the water. Gorgeous lake, gorgeous area. We're gonna try to catch us another big fish because we got to beat Scott. That is our goal, to beat Scott. We can't let him come here and beat us. And what I'm doing, I'm basically making a long cast. This is a quarter ounce jig head. I'm making a long cast with it to my target, and letting it sink all the way to the bottom before I try to move it. And then what you want to do is you just basically want to shake your rod. Basically, I just shake my rod in the up position from about 9 o'clock to about 12, and then I'll stop and let it sit still for a minute. And now that jig head is sitting straight up in the air underwater. I'll reel up my line back to 9 o'clock and just kind of shake it back again. There's a fish right there. Oh, ho, ho. Man, let's see if he comes back and gets it. There's one right there. I missed him again! There he is. Got him. Let's see, that's, that's what I'm talking about. You just let it lay down on the bottom. Just a little guy. But that's all right. Spot remover. Because it removes them right out of the lake. Puts them right in your live well. Nice little spot. Still ain't that big Coosa River spot we're looking for, but at least he is a spot. Had to be one to go to the live wheel get Scott. We switched up jerk baits. We were throwing a deep diver one earlier. Now we've gone to a, a shorter profile bait and also a, one that don't run as deep. The other one was a deep diver and this one's a shallow diver. Paid off that time. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. Oh, dude. Come here, come here, come here. <laughs> Another black. I thought somebody said there's spots in this lake. That's two good blacks I've caught today. Nice fish, two and a half pounder. There's some largemouth back here. Thought they said this is a spot lake. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Oh, so close. All right, we're starting to figure some stuff out in here. I'm gonna run to the next little point. Just a little bit farther back in this creek, there's another little stand of trees out off the bank. And I think that's where the creek channel comes across. See if we can't shake one up or jerk one up. That's a little bit better spot. There you go. Oh, I think that'll make five. 
Another chunky little spot. It's a perfect looking spot. It's just like a big island out here in the middle of this creek. Creek channels on this side of it. Got the wind blowing down this side of it. It's a textbook spot right here. Oh, good fish. Good fish. Oh, dude. Oh my gosh, it's a five or six pound spot. That is a toad. Oh my gosh, I'm getting an F for landing this fish. Yes! <laughs> wow! Wow, that was cool. That's my biggest spot that I've ever caught, I'm pretty sure. We've got a great, great bag of spots. Time is running out. This is basically the last point I was gonna fish. The great thing about today is that we figured out something. Jerk bait, the spot remover, fishing these points. It's December, it's cold, but just sticking with it, catching big fish. I've gotta go back and make one more cast on that point and then we're headed to the dock and we're gonna see who wins. All right, dude, our time's up, man. Oh, man, I had an awesome time. I'm a cold popsicle, dude. I'm the, I'm, I believe I'm as cold as you are. You know, I was making fun of you this morning from being from Florida, thin blood, but it's been cold out it's here today. It's been super cold, but I've got some fish in this box. How about you? I got some fish, too, so I, you know, I think I got you. I, I've heard you've got a pretty good one. I've got a pretty good one. I so heard you got a good one. It, I want to see your good one. It's according on how, you know, the other sizes go to what hey, we got. This little X-Tool scale will tell the story right, right now. Let's, let's do put it. her on there. That's a nice spot. For a tough day, it's, you know, that's, that's better than nothing. It's another one. Uh, that's another one. A little bit small, though. You got two. Uh-oh. That's a little bit better. That's a spot. That is a spot. And then that one's Dude. just a little bit better than that one. <laughs> I think you've got a little bit better bag than you led me to believe. Man, my good you've one's in there, four. right? You've got, no, you've got four in here. Four? Oh, maybe we need to get one more then. Now, Dude. What's that one? Oh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, wow. Dude, that's a five or six pounder. Oh, that's a nice one. All right, let's see what it weighs. 13.3. 13.3. Whew, it's gonna be close, dude. That's all I gotta tell you, it's gonna be close. Oh, now there's a, <laughs> there's a Coosa River spot. That's a pretty spot. That, uh, that almost took care of my three little ones I had. Oh, there's a, there's a black. Now, I don't know what he's doing in there. He's lost. Oh, my goodness. Another chunk. Another chunk. That's I mean, a that's a magnum spot. spot, dude. Oh, man, I dropped the bag. That's all I got, man. That's it. And that's that what side. I'm oh, now, wait a minute. I caught this one, dude. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that is a chunk. Look how thick that fish is, man. I mean, that is a big, fat December wow. Coosa River spot. That's awesome. That's awesome right there. And since I'm from Florida, where the big largemouth live, I couldn't <laughs> say that I couldn't catch oh one of these. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. You smoked me. You came to Bama and took me on, I'm telling you. Dude, I don't know what. This might be like the new Scott Martin Challenge record, I'm man. I'm telling you. And they're spotted bass. Eighteen, eighteen seven, eighteen seven, 18, seven. of spots. Ah, <laughs> goodness, boy, those are some pretty Woo. spots. That's for sure, dude. That's the biggest bag on the show right now. Oh wow! And four of them are spots. I mean, it was a tough day, but you know that's what's that's what's really cool about today's show is that hey, this is real fishing. We're dealing with the conditions. It's cold. Hey, there's not a lot of guys out on the lake today that's fishing. Right. It's not the some, best had, day to go. That's right. We had some tough conditions. We did. And, but, you know, hopefully the viewers at home, you get to see what we're doing, get to see how we're catching fish and the changes that we made to adapt. I had a great day. I beat old Greg. That's the best part about it. 
I had a great time, you know, man. You know I'm not going to get this list down, you know. People's really going to get on me about this. Well, hey, that's I, a good, you had a good bag of fish. I dude. did. I enjoyed it. It was fun, man. I'll have to do it again. You'll have to do it again for sure. Oh, I'll, I enjoyed it. I, I look forward to it. <laughs> Definitely, man. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed today's show. Hey, it was a great day for me. Greg caught some good fish, but hopefully you got to see some new tips and techniques to help you catch more fish when you're dealing with bad weather conditions like we did today. So tune in next week. We're on a new lake with a new challenger. Thanks for watching the Scott Martin Challenge.